In this video, I will show you four different paths that you can use to start writing your own songs. Remember that every path is different for every composer and there are no rules, but only tools that will allow you to overcome the creative block. The fourth main paths that you can use to start writing songs are rhythm, harmony, lyrics, and melody. Let's talk about the rhythm. Improvising and creating rhythm is one of the coolest and easiest ways you can use to start writing the rhythm of your song sections. And by song sections, I mean mainly the verse, the chorus, the pre-chorus, and the bridge. If you would like to start writing your own song from the rhythm, the easiest way to do it is by improvising over a drum loop or a drum groove. A loop is a continuous repetition of a rhythm section made of recordings of real or virtual instruments. A drum groove is also a repetition of a specific rhythm pattern that has a particular feeling or vibe and that will suggest you ideas of style, meter for your particular song. The good thing about loops is that you can find many of them for free on the internet, including YouTube. Once you find a loop you like, you can start creating little rhythmic ideas and phrases with or without melodies, and if you feel adventurous, you can even improvise some harmonies on your guitar or keyboard that go along with the vibe or feeling of the song. Let's discuss now a little bit about the harmony. If you play a harmonic instrument, harmony is one of the greatest ways for you to start writing a song. Harmonic progressions or chord chains help us establish the feeling of the song, and if we have a clear idea of the message we want to deliver, we can make choices like the key of our song, the complexity of our chords, the tempo, and even the mode we want to use, whether if it's minor or major. Please remember, if you're looking for some harmony inspiration, you can learn chord progressions from your favorite songs and add your own variations of rhythm and meter to add some originality. These are some of the most popular progressions that you can use for free in your own songs. The first one is the 1-4-5-1 progression and in the key of C major sounds like this. The second one is the 1-5-6-4 progression and it sounds something like this. The third one is the 1-6-4-5 progression. And finally, let's listen to the 1-4-6-5 progression. Let's talk about lyrics. Lyrics can come from many different places, but the secret to succeeding at lyrics is to open your eyes and ears and listen carefully to what's happening around you. Song seeds or song ideas can come from that afternoon coffee date with your friend, your own conversation, and even the conversations going around on that table next to you. They can come from your local newspaper, from the TV news, films, and the books you're currently reading. Be on the hunt for all of those amazing phrases that give you goosebumps and that you love. Your goal is to catch not only ideas for phrases or unique words, but concepts that you can use to build your song around. Get a journal, use your phone's favorite text app, and even your audio recording app for those lyric ideas that come to your head during a run, during a restaurant outing, even when you're sleeping. Do daily free writing or object writing and train your writing muscle every day with time-based exercises. This will allow you to increase your vocabulary, come up faster with song ideas and create beautiful metaphors. Now that you know the secret, just write down everything that comes into your head. Let's talk about melody. If you're a singer, songwriter or play a melodic instrument, starting from the melody is going to be a great path for you. Songwriting is all about finding memorable melodies and repeating them to your audience so they can sing along with you. If you check some of your favorite songs, the best song hook melodies for the chorus are made of repetitions of no more than three or five notes. Take some time to listen and analyze your favorite songs and use some of the resources that they use, like note steps, skips, on your own melodies. 
If you're new to melody, the best way to start is by picking one or two chords from a key and start creating melodies only with the first, third, and fifth notes of those chords. If you're in C major, these ones would be C, E, and G. Create as many ideas as you can with only those few pitches and pick your favorite ones. If you want to add more complexity and interest to your melody, start adding the in-between notes of the chords, meaning the note between the first and the third note and the one between the third and the fifth note. Finally, I would like to give you some advice for succeeding using any of these four paths. Number one, do not rely on your memory only. Try to record and write every piece of lyric that comes to your mind. Songs are not to-do list and they fade away faster than you think. Second one, once you start writing a song, try to finish it. Every song has a lifespan and the more time you wait to complete it, the less interest you will have in it and the magic will go away. Try to make progress daily until you have a first draft, even if you don't love it. You can always polish the song later. Third, please understand that songwriting is a process and like every other process, you need to put practice to get better at it. Like any art form, practice will help you become the best version of yourself. Do not allow your internal judge to become your companion and your co-writer. I assure you that no good songs will come out of this partnership. With that said, finding good writing partners and learn from their strengths to work on your weaknesses is a great plan. And finally, I want you to enjoy the ride and allow yourself to learn from your process. The only competition you have is yourself. Don't forget to have fun.